Hey guys, Forex here. Hope you're all well. As you can see, I have my Commodore 64 set up. And I'm playing a game called Annihilator. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know where I got this game from. Um, I actually won it from those crazy guys at Riot Retro Gaming. Uh, what those guys do is they stream old... Uh, consoles and computers uh, every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock over on Twitch and sometimes they hold competitions and I entered one of their competitions and won this game um, but yeah as you can see it's it's on tape uh, and if you know me you know I'm not a big fan of tapes um, so what I'm going to try and do in this video is crack this game from tape uh, and then what I can do is share it with you guys now I don't have any of the equipment I used to have back in the day I used to have an action replay the only thing I have now is a, a fast loader cartridge so I can't really crack it on real hardware so I'm going to have to use an emulator to try and crack this game now the big problem with that is if I've got to transfer this tape to a PC over to a tap file um, but luckily I don't have to do that because someone's already done it um, and I can use that to see if I can crack the game um, and then if I do crack it what I can do then is convert it to a PRG you can put it on an SD to IEC or, or a, what's it called an Ultima 2 and yeah play that game from PRG so that's what I'm going to try and do in this video guys I'm going to try and crack Annihilator Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to see if I can crack this game, annihilate all. <laughs> um, the first thing I want to uh, say is this is going to be a, a quick video. Um, I'm not going to go into much detail in what I'm doing. Um, if you want to know what I'm doing, you can check out my video called Cracking the Ocean Loader. You'll get a lot more detail from that. Um, but yeah. This is just going to be a, a quick down and dirty video to see if I can crack this game. Now, the first thing I need to do is load this game from tape because I want to get a look at what type of load I'm working with. And as you can see, here's the game. I'll tap. We'll load that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to maximum speed this thing because I don't want to be all day. And depending on what type of loader it is, depends on how you attack it and that loaded really quick uh, even though I was on warp speed um, this game's not a basic game is it? no, it's machine code
as you can see we have a system 657 now I doubt very much that that's the jump into the machine code which kicks the game off um, we could try that if I write system 657 657 we'll see if the game loads if the game starts up okay fair enough it's going to be pretty damn quick we crack this game quick but I very much doubt it's going to be that yeah I didn't think it was um, what I'm going to have to do now is reload that game again but on an emulator that doesn't take two minutes <laughs> on a Commodore 64 you would have to rewind your tape and start all over again so let's maximum speed this thing again and we're back now what I'm going to do this time instead of running the code at 65 what was it list yeah, instead of running the code at, at system 657, I want to look what's at 657. So I'm going to go into the monitor and I'm going to display what's at address 657. And we have a JSR which stands for jump, it's a subroutine. And as you can see, it's jumping to 090C. And that could very well be our jump into the game. So, what I'm going to do now is set a breakpoint at that address. So, BA sets the breakpoint, and we're 090C. Now, I want to tell the Commodore 64 to break whenever you read, write, or execute code at that address and that's my breakpoint point set so if I exit out of that now this time instead of being stupid and falling for the system 657 <laughs> which it clearly wasn't I showed you before it wasn't that this time I'm going to write run <laughs> and as you can see we broke um, which is a really good sign right that, because we want to break as the game starts now, what I need to do now is actually dump the Commodore 64's memory. But before I can do that, I've got to carry out an important step. Now, because this is machine code, what I need to do now is tell the Commodore 64, I don't want what's in ROM. It's not a basic game, right? It's, it's a machine code. And I only want the RAM. So the way we do that is we write bank zero. And that tells the Commodore 64 forget what's in ROM and just give us what's in RAM. What I need to do now is tell uh, the Commodore 64 I want to save a memory dump. Now I'm going to save the program, right? And I'm going to call it memdump. Now, seeing as this game didn't look very big, I'm pretty safe to tell the Commodore 64 okay I only want what's at address 800 to FFFF the rest of the memory I don't care about I just want that portion of the memory now what I'm going to do now is exit now if the game starts up that's a really good sign if it doesn't start up and it breaks again then we'll probably have to do this again but if I press X, let's see what we get. And the game started up, which is a really, really positive sign. So we may have cracked this one, guys. So what I want to do now is totally exit the emulator. And I'm going to reload that memory dump. And we're back in the Commodore 64. Now if I get back into the monitor, now remember same again so we go bank zero only want RAM and this time we're going to load the program and it was called memdump and it's loaded it ok now if I come out of that now if I type list again we should see that iffy system command and there it is 657 now 
we know it's not 657 right we know it's probably going to be what it was when we saw it it was 90C now we need to tell the Commodore 64 to start code start reading code from 90C now the problem is the Commodore 64 doesn't like its system commands in hex 90C it wants them in decimal so we have to convert 90C to decimal and the easiest way to do that is just use a calculator a scientific or programming calculator and as you can see it's 2316 so our sister command is sys2316 sys2316 now let's see if the game starts if the game starts we've cracked it maybe yeah cracked and yeah now what was that five minutes probably took me two minutes if I wasn't filming it all we have to do now is crunch this game into a PRG uh, and that's what I'm going to do next okay I'm ready to crunch my memory dump so I want to go and grab that and as you can see it's here and I'm going to cut that and I'm going to paste that into my cruncher directory which is called Enzamaya, Examaya I'm probably raping the name of that cruncher right uh, what I've done is I've created a batch file and it saves me writing out the command line every single time all I have to do is change the start address or jump address into the game and we already know that which is 90C so I'm just going to enter that, save and all I have to do now is run the batch file and it will crunch that into a PRG for me And we're done as you can see. We have output.prg. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to paste it into this directory. I'm going to change the name from out to, to annihilator. <laughs> and that's it. We have our PRG file. Okay, I'm ready to test out that PRG. I generated from the memory dump um, we crushed it gave us a PRG so what I'm going to do now is load that into CCS64 and see if it actually works so I'm just going to open the file it's here annihilator <laughs> I've got to stop saying it like that so we'll open that and it's decrunching yeah, and as you can see it works fine um, now what I'm going to do is run that in vice as well just to be doubly sure and it's the same thing just open it here it is PRG annihilator yeah set it right this time open deep crunching yeah it works fine just press F1 to start So yeah, there you go. All done. Correct. We have a PRG. All we'd have to do now is transfer that over to a genuine um, Commodore 64 disk. Or you could use something like an SD to IC or the Ultimate Cart. Uh, put that on your SD card or your USB stick and you're off and running. No more loading from tape. 
Okay, let's test this thing out on real hardware. Wouldn't be much of a crack if it didn't work on real hardware. As you can see, I have my SD to IEC. Got my fast loader cart. And we're ready. So let's fire up the loader program. As you can see, it's at the very bottom. Annihilate all. Gotta stop saying it like that. Press enter, we're decrunching, and there we go. Now, some of you may be going, Why is there no sound? Uh, I'm going to show you why there's no sound, guys. Um, it's because it's very annoying. Yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Two minutes of that is <laughs> enough for anyone. <laughs> So yeah, this game's cracked. What I'll do now is I'll release this so you can uh, download it. I'll have a link in the description below. Also what I want to say is go check out the guys over on Twitch, Riot Retro Gaming, every Wednesday at 9 o'clock. And yeah, this video is done guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.